So unless your lordships come down heavily, that 356 is not meant for this purpose. Where is the voice of the people of Jammu and Kashmir? Where is the voice of representative democracy? Whenever the court has been silent, the consequences have been disastrous. You didn't, you didn't even hear what I said. So therefore, he was silent while I was arguing, Manoj. I can't interrupt him. With Clause 1 of Article 370 of the Constitution of India, the President, on the recommendation of Parliament, now let's see this. So Parliament, that is, acting under 356, becomes the Legislative Assembly, recommends to itself, exercising the powers under 370, as a constituent assembly, and then says that 370 ceases to exist. So you, Malaj, therefore, assume all the powers of the state legislature, of parliament, of the constituent assembly, and give consent to yourself. Recommend to yourself and accept the recommendation yourself. So, amazing exercise of constitutional ledger domain. Not the only power that you can exercise under 356. There are incremental steps to be taken. This is not a guillotine provision. And it's temporary, to say the least. So unless your lordships come down heavily, that 356 is not meant for this purpose. The excessive use of power also amounts to illegal, irrational, and malified aid. So your lordships will have to determine, is was this not an excessive use of power? And per se, it would be illegal, malified, and irrational. Hence, it is urged that the doctrine of proportionality is relevant in this context and has to be applied in such circumstances. To appreciate, Malaz, that's why I said, Malaz, in normal circumstances, dissolution would never happen. First, the assembly would be suspended be in suspended animation. Attempts would be made to form a government. In the meantime, you exercise president's rule. When you realize that it's just not possible at all, it's then at that stage that you dissolve the assembly and order elections. Now you've dissolved the assembly. When did you dissolve it? On 21st of November, 2018. And we are where? In, 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 in August, 2023. Was that meant to be, Malaz, under 356? Pause here. Malaz, on the 21st of November, the governor had no power to dissolve parliament. He could only do it under the, uh, on the aid and advice of the Council of Ministers. So see what they did. They knew that the Council of Ministers would never advise the governor to dissolve. So he dissolved it on his own. So if you dissolve it on your own, what are you left with? Only the governor. And then the governor, Malaz, did what he did. You impose 356, and then you take over the powers. And Malaz, ultimately, you are a delegate, 356, Delegates the powers of the legislature to you. You're not an omni, you're not an omnipresent, omnipotent uh, 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 authority to do what you like. You're a delegate. You've been delegated the powers of the legislature. What what the primary institution cannot do, the delegate cannot do.
So therefore, 356 was an extraordinary provision, allowing a progressive uh, uh, pathway for restoration. So what does that have done with this? Then, where is the voice of the people of Jammu and Kashmir? Where is the voice of representative democracy? Five years have passed. Have you heard, Mullahs? Any representative form of government? Can you convert a whole state, Mullahs? This way, the whole all of India can be converted. This power is given. And Mullahs, the proviso said you have to take the uh, uh, consent. You to you do away with that through an executive act. You don't even take their views. You become the legislature yourself. So where do we stand, Mullahs? We stand at a situation where, Mullahs, though the Constitution is a political document, its provisions can't be manipulated and maneuvered for political ends. It cannot be. That's not how you interpret a Constitution. It is a political document, but you cannot politically misuse it and maneuver it and manipulate it, which is what has been done. That can't be done. And even when there's a clash of arms, the law is never silent. The law is not concerned with that. The law, the court is never silent. And when the, whenever the court has been silent, the consequences have been disastrous. It's time for your chips. And what is a constitution? A constitution is a set of values. A values on the basis of which people will represent themselves and their voice will be heard. If you, through such executive acts, silence the voice of the people, what is left of democracy? And all that I can say to your lordships is that this is a historic moment. Historic not for the present, but for the future of India. And I hope this court is not silent. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Only one, thank you. Who uh, will follow now? I what be... was just for Lord Sheikh, this occurred, my lord, on the union territory part. Lord Sheikh would also examine, my lord, uh, after uh, the court is over. Yes. What was read was the provisions of Article 3 as applicable to Jammu and Kashmir then. Thereafter, the entire constitution is applied before. The reorganization to yes, yes, that's what we are trying to read as applicable to entire. Country. I read both. Your would get the answer. I read both, because both applicable as well as the constitution. My very friend is wrong. I read both. I was reading the, the constitution article. The explanation both. was not written. Really, have I, your, I mean, what are you saying? Puzzle. I don't know. Obviously, you didn't. You didn't even hear what I said. So therefore, he was silent while I was arguing, brothers. <laughs> I can't interrupt him.